Hey guys, Jazz Hands here from Thumbsticks and Bottle Caps with another episode of Frugal Gaming. So today we're going to go over PC gaming, building a PC, and where to find the deals on the games. So let's just dive into it. Now, if you have a console, you've heard people tell you PC gaming is the best. And if you have a PC, you've heard people tell you console gaming is the best. I'm going to be honest with you. I like them both equally, and I probably will get some hate for that. I don't care because I see the benefits of both. Um, you know, with consoles, you get more longevity out of your machine. Uh, but with PC, you save a lot more money. I feel that consoles are a little more practical and PC gaming is for people who are a little bit more involved with you know, their hobby and what they're wanting to do. Uh, building a PC can be a little expensive, you know, you don't want to go anything below a mid-range, quite honestly. I have a low-range PC, and that's just because it's long in the tooth and I haven't updated it in forever. And I'm fine with that because I have a console. Uh, but mid-range PCs are going to run you about, at the cheapest, about $650 to $700. And that's just for kind of a, a mid, you know, a smaller one and by a smaller PC, you know, it's not going to be able to run everything at the highest graphics. But and it's what I mean by mid-range. Uh, mid-range PC will run pretty much anything that's out on a console now at medium to high, um, you know, settings. The high, you're going to be kind of pushing it, quite honestly. Especially if you're playing a game like uh, Fallout or, you know, anything newer. You know, maybe, wild, maybe you know, Tom Clancy's Wildlands or anything like that. Um, sorry, Ghost Recon Wildlands. So, you know, be cautious of that, but when you're buying your parts for your PC, there's a plethora of things you can do to cut the cost. Uh, something I do is I don't go in for fancy LED lights, or I never went in for fancy LED lights, I never went in for see-through cases, I never went in for top dollar uh, power supplies. There's a lot of things you can do that save you money. Um, you know, you don't have to have the best RAM. You can go get 12 gigs of RAM, and not be like, oh man, I got this PNY super awesome RAM and it cost me, you know, 50 bucks a stick. No, you don't have to do that. Um, the Where you really should be spending your money when you're building a PC is definitely going to be your graphics card, your processor, and your, mother, and your motherboard. You really don't have to go that bad on the motherboard. You just got to make sure it's going to be socketed correctly for the for one of the best, well not one of the best, but for a very good um, CPU. So, you know, just to keep that in mind. And another thing you can do is kind of check around with, you know, local PC repair shops. These guys are tearing computers apart all day and see if they're willing to, you know, sell you some of the parts that they're not gonna use. Uh, a case here or, uh, you know, a motherboard or something like that. That can go a long way and help cut the cost quite a bit. Another thing I suggest doing is checking uh, places like Bargain Hunt. Uh, Bargain Hunt is kind of like a little secondhand store. I wouldn't say secondhand, but like anything that like comes from the manufacturer with an open box or something slightly wrong with it, they send it, you know, these huge retailers send it out to stores like this and they sell it at a discount and a lot of the time they get cheaper the longer they sit on the shelves because they got to get rid of that. So, uh, you know, you can, get a, you can get a really good case there with LEDs and that you can see through sometimes for like $20 and a lot of the time it'll be an $80 to $100 case. So just keep an eye out for that. They'll have some really nice uh, keyboards as well. Uh, and I've not really just for peripherals. They're not going to have some stuff that, you know, you're going to be looking for. But they're going to have a lot of things you need, to be honest with you. Uh, so, you know, look out for stores like that. Call PC repair shops. You know, these guys rip out, you know, old shit all the time and, you know, keep it. Because it's still good. They're just, you know, they're just keeping it. But, um, you know, call around. See what, see what you can do. Drum up some deals you know, make it happen. So that's with building a PC. Uh, if you want to build like a, a high-end PC, you're going to be looking at anywhere from a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars, probably a little more. But with PC gaming, it's a it's a big investment on the front end to do to get into, no matter what things you do to cut costs. But it's so worth it in the end because of the money you're going to make back with games. 
Um, I guarantee you, I have probably close to a thousand dollars in games on my PC, and I maybe only spent three, four hundred bucks over the last five years. And you know, it's so worth it because you got Steam deals, you got publisher deals, you got you know Christmas and July deals, you've got Black Friday and Christmas deals. It's and a lot of the time, it'll be 75% off or 85% off. You know, I got the whole Hitman franchise. Uh, everything from, you know, Agent 47 all the way up to Hitman Absolution for $6 one year. So, you know, hit these deals. And then you have, you know, with Origin, EA Origin, they have, um, you know, One on Us or whatever it's called where they pick a game and they're like, hey, you can get this game for free from us. And you don't have to use our subscription service or anything and blah, 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 blah. Uh, you know, I recently, well, not recently, but I got Jade Empire when they had it. And that's one of the best RPGs out there, in my opinion. And it's from Bioware, so you know it's good. Um, you know, just keep a deal, uh, an eye out for deals and stuff like that for PC gaming. And trust me, you'll make your money back. Uh, you know, on my PC, I kind of, you know... I kind of, you know, what I spent on is about 500 bucks. I have definitely made my money back and then some with the deals that I've found on games that I've played. I have games that I've never even played, but I've bought them and downloaded them just because I could get them for a dollar or two dollars. So it's, it's really a, that's PC gaming in a nutshell. That's why it's cheaper than console gaming. And, you know, you'll, you have a lot more capability with them as well. And there's a lot of really good free-to-play games out there that you can get for PC. So just give that a thought. Um, you know, when you're building a PC, just remember, you know, shop for the best deals. Online's not always the best way to go sometimes on those. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. Uh, you know, keep an eye out for PC repair shops that might want to work a deal with you. Keep an eye out for bargain hunts and secondhand stores and pawn shops. Um, you know, and know where, know, know where you need to spend your money when building the PC. Like I said, your graphics card and your CPU are your two main things that you need to look at spending a decent amount of money on. Um, you know, but everything else, you know, you can get performance stuff, that's fine and all, but if you're trying to be frugal about it, you know, I would go lower in things, and that's just me. Um, other than that, guys, that's all I have. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Mm -hmm. And as always, have a good one.